Okay, so what we got going on here is we're gonna put some ball joints on this thing. So you can tell this is the top. It's got that little provision there for the vacuum hubs. So if you get all confused about it, that's how that goes. And there is an order on how to put ball joints in this. So this type of ball joint press, you, you have to put the top ball joint in first because of how that goes in you won't be able if you end up putting the bottom ball joint in first you won't be able to press it on because these little adapters they give you are not long enough to make all that jive together so you got to do top first and then the bottom. And as a matter of fact, I am going to put a little bit of anti-seize on this too. Okay, kind of sort of looped up a bit. And let's get our adapters put on. And then this guy here, you gotta let me get this started and I'll get the impact gun. Since the ball joint comes past this casting here, I ended up getting a little piece of pipe and made that little piece there so that way the uh, ball joint will come past that casting. Otherwise you'll never get it to seat all the way. Come on. Sometimes with these two, you gotta tap them a bit. Kind of help it release a little bit of pressure. Do you believe we're seated all the way? Now, time for the bottom. Got her lubed up. Set that in there. This little adapter is getting all whooped out.
A workbench would be really nice. clamp dealios are not really awesome to use but when you need them you need them okay so for this lower ball joint you can see when it's seated all the way when you can put your C clip in now for the top they give you a C-clip, but it's there's no way. There's no way that's going to fit. Because this is at a taper, and this goes through straight. Unless they machine this C-clip area all lopsided and wonky, it's not going to fit. So, you're never going to push it in that far. But this guy... So the only thing we're going to need out of that package for this upper is your cotter pin and this nifty little grease zerk that you need a grease needle for. That's it. We've got new ball joints put in. I am starting to realize I'm not a fan of the Harbor Freight brass hammer. It throws chunks everywhere when you hit it. It just, it's like a grenade every time you hit something with it. Let's get this knuckle put in. Ball joints weren't in there totally straight, so I was kind of fighting up. Put some of that raspberry donut jelly in this thing, too.
all lined up. That's good and tight. Those look like they're all torqued to spec. I did buy installation tool for the big seals that go in here. That did not get delivered today like it was supposed to. Is Amazon. So we'll do that tomorrow. But at least we'll get an idea of what it's all going to look like. Really like how this gray steel it looks on black. I think that just looks awesome. And then the gold zinc. Money. Also got some hubs coming in that don't say Ford on them because we can't have that on a Chevy. And then, uh, yeah, we'll wait for the seal install tool to come in and then we'll get this thing all bolted up and then it's getting real close i think we're ready to stick steering on it and everything once these knuckles are all put together yeah see what comes in the mail tomorrow okay so it's another day we're out here in the garage it's a little cold and windy out, so I got the door down. <clears throat> so Amazon being a super reliable shipping company, um, we don't have the tool to install these seals today. But I think I might attempt to put it on with a hammer and just be real careful with it. That's how I did it on my other truck. Um, so I think I'm going <clears throat> to... I think I'm going to give it a shot. So we'll pull that axle shaft back out, try to hammer this back on, see if we can get at least one hub put back together today. I, I want to see at least one hub done. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay. So I had to take a moment to patch myself up. I now have three bum fingers. How did I manage to do that? I don't know. Happened to find a little sharp spot on here and got them all. I, I guess it's kind of the price you pay doing stupid stuff like this. Sure glad I had my safety splints on for that one. I don't know if I could handle another injury today. Okay. I kind of screwed up the paint on this guy, so I think I might just shoot a quick little on it and install it back in. And hope that I can get this bigger portion of the seal seated in the the knuckle. I've had an issue with this in the past. So we're going to see if we can make it happen. No promises. Yeah.
Can you guys believe that? Did we get that on camera? I just blew the ass out of my snap-on ratchet, or snap-on hammer. Totally blew the backside out of it. Good grief. So at this point, now we're ready to put our snap ring back in. It's kind of a pain in the butt, this snap ring. It's got a lot of pressure to it. checker we're all locked in now i'm going to pump this full of grease and put on what did come in the middle today i'm pretty excited to see it So, there we are, freeze full, and she's locked in. Cool. Got some more unlocking hubs on it. All right, so I ended up getting a phone call a little bit ago. Nothing bad, it was fine. But uh, while I was on the phone, I just kept working. So the other side's all buttoned up. It's good to go. And I started getting this side already. Got the seal in, started getting the hub in. Now I gotta do is just run the nuts and suck it all together. Should be all good to go. We'll get the hub put in this side too. And I think we're gonna call it a wrap for this weekend. So let's finish up our project and Go relax. Let's try this again. installed
Oh boy. All right, well there's a quick little overview how this thing turned out. I really like all the black and zinc bolts and the little bit of gray that is on it. I think that the steel it gray with these black worn hubs looks pretty good too. So the only thing we have that we're waiting on coming in, I guess, is brakes. I ordered a set of power stop brakes with the calipers. And I don't know when those are going to make it. Amazon says the 22nd, but it ships within two days. And I ordered them yesterday, so I don't know if they're going to come in sooner or if the 22nd is when they're coming in. But for now, I think this is all I have to share with you guys now. At least until parts come in. So, thanks for watching. Stick around. We're about to slap this axle up underneath of a Duramax. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing drives. I have been wanting to do this whole solid axle swap for... Man, I think I bought the truck like seven or eight years ago, and I've always wanted to do this exact kit, so pretty excited I finally pulled the trigger on it. I think it's going to look really good. It's going to be real tough. Right now, what I have an issue with on the truck is with it being independent. I'm a hay farmer, and going through all those hay fields, I swear, the first field you drive through, your alignment's just whooped out for the rest of the hay season. And I think that this is the answer to fixing that. Plus we're going to get an inch bigger diameter brakes, so better stopping, and a tighter turning radius too. These things turn extremely sharp. So that's going to be really nice because, man, it, it's almost a two-point turn just to do anything in that truck so big upgrade I hope I hope I don't regret it and if I do you'll find out stay tuned <laughs> <laughs>